Hey everybody, Paul Richards here from PTZ Optics. And today I'm going to show you how to get PTZ camera control integrated into an Elgato Stream Deck, which also can control multiple Roland video switchers. So essentially you're going to be able to integrate Roland video switching control with PTZ camera controls. This will work for the V600 HD, the V60 HD, which we're using today, the VP42H, the XS-62S, or the XS-84H. Let's check it out. So first of all, we got the switcher here. This is the V-60HD. It's a great video switcher. It has one, two, three, four SDI inputs, which are really great. We've also got two HDMI inputs, uh, two SDI outputs, two HDMI outputs, and a multi-view output that we're going to be looking at. For today's video, we've got one SDI input and one HDMI input coming off the back of a PTZ Optics camera. You can see PTZ Optics cameras has SDI, HDMI, and then we've got PoE and an IP connection so that we can connect. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do to get this working is you're going to need to look at your V60HD and set the IP address of the device. Essentially what we're going to do is we're going to use an Elgato Stream Deck, which I have right here. I'll show it to you on this camera. And we're going to be able to, uh, via IP, connect directly to a PTZ Optics camera to control it. And we're also going to be able to for this demonstration, set preview and program output. There's actually a bunch of other options as well. This all happens over IP. This device right here, this Elgato Stream Deck, connects to my laptop via USB. You can barely see that there. There's a USB 2.0 connection right there, right? So USB from this Elgato Stream Deck, my computer is on the same network, right? IP connectivity here as the Roland switcher and the PTZ Optics camera. This is going to be awesome for anybody who's using a Roland switcher who already has IP connectivity for it, or maybe you're not using the IP connectivity of your Roland video switcher, and now this is a great reason to integrate a single Stream Deck. This is like a $100 little uh, touchscreen that you can use to integrate camera controls and video switcher controls anywhere on your network with a computer. All right. So how does this work? First thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the software. So the software here is going is from a company called Bitfocus. And we're going to get Bitfocus Companion App and, of course, an Elgato Stream Deck. Now, this assumes that you have a PTZ Optics camera and a Roland switcher. But follow with me here because this is a great way to add PTZ control into your Roland switcher control interface. Now, let's take a look at the software here. So, and actually the switcher as well. So this is the software really quickly. And you can see we've got the Roland V60 HD connected and we've got the PTZ Optics camera connected. When I hit the edit button, I'm going in here and all I'm doing is actually adding the IP address. And the way this software works, this is called BitFocus Companion. It's really awesome. It can control tons of different audio visual devices is that we can add products by category or manufacturer so we can literally search search for Roland and Ro these are the Roland switchers that will come up so all of these Roland switchers can be controlled you know uh, if we search for PTZ optics we can add a PTZ optics camera and if you have four PTZ optics cameras you can add four of them all with unique IP addresses so this PTZ optics camera I have in here is on this IP address so let's get started by setting up the Roland switcher. So we're good with that. So here's our Roland switcher here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the menu and we're going to go down to the, um, now see there is a camera control area here, by the way, we're not using that yet. There's new firmware coming out that might add PTZ optics camera control, but I wanted to make this video first because it's kind of an interesting one. And it definitely works really well. Here's the IP address, okay? So the thing to know about here is that the IP address needs to be on the same range as your computer and your camera. We're going to have a blog post about this, explaining that in more detail. But you can actually click a button and change the IP address, OK? 
okay? Really quickly and easily, we're gonna set it to 199. That's important because back here in our software, that's exactly what we're gonna use that exact IP address to connect to the device. You can see the exact same IP address there. We hit apply and boom, it says connected, all right? So we know the status is okay, it's connected, we're good to go. Those are two IP devices that we're gonna be controlling. There are many, many more. We can search by category. You can see here you can control projectors, lighting, videos. This is great for churches and different places that have lots of different systems, all kinds of cameras and different things that you can control. Now, what we're gonna do is go over to the button area here. And these buttons are exactly what we have on our Elgato Stream Deck here. So I've already programmed these, but I wanna take you through the process of doing this so you can see what happens. Now, um, this is page one. So what we'll do is we'll set up page two and I'll do this kind of from scratch here. So if we click a button, what it'll do is there'll be a key down action and a key up action, meaning when you press down on the button, you want to do something. And a lot of times when you lift up from the button, you want it to stop doing something. So what we're gonna do here, and by the way, there's lots of different options for the V60 HD here. For example, cut, you know, um, auto mixing, fade options for audio. So you can build a really nice custom touch panel button here. But what I'm gonna do here is we're just gonna do tilt up. And on the key up, when, when we're done tilting up, when we, we're gonna go ahead and pan tilt stop. And we can set a delay there, we don't need to. And you can do a PNG image, but we're just gonna write up. And what we've done is we have created a button to do that. So let's go back to our buttons here. That's page one, we just created a button. Now let's go here and I wanna show you guys what this looks like. So on the touch screen here, page two, oh, that's page 99. Page two just has the up button. Page one was the one I already set up. So there you go, we can do up, down, left, right, and there even is, if we go to page two here, I believe, let me check this again, if we have my memory right, pan left, pan right, there's an up left and an up right, which is kind of cool. So uh, where is that? So pan left, pan right, tilt up, tilt down, up left, up right, so that would be up left, and then if you guys follow me, that's like a diagonal, right? So pan tilt stop now this is where a png file of like an arrow that was up and left kind of diagonal would be good but let's just do ul for up left and then we would build this out so that would be our camera control again this one has up down left and right and i didn't use png files but you could definitely use them and then what i like to do if we if we had up down left right and like a home for the ptz camera on the side, I like to do preview and program. So if you have each camera, let's say you've got four cameras, let's say you've got each camera with PTZ controls for its page and then preview and cut uh, to program the output uh, for each camera. So on each page of your Elgato Stream Deck, you can have PTZ control for a unique camera and the program and output. So just one more on the second page, let's add one more button here. And now we're gonna control the Roland switcher. So what we're gonna do here, you can have a cut button. And what that would do, if we go ahead and do that, that is just simply going to cut. Oh, where did that go here? That is gonna simply cut directly to, oh, I already had that there, okay, good. Because you can have multiple actions on a single uh, button press. That will just cut to whatever is in your preview. Now, the other thing that we can do, so we've got that button there, let's add another one, is that we can go ahead and send this specific input to the output. So uh, this specific, so select output for bus SDI or SDI one or two. Now that's nice if you are sending SDI outputs um, to different projectors or different spaces, you can select the SDI uh, output for a bus so lots of great things that you can do here. Um, I had, for example, the, um, what was it? Um, my last one, let's take a look at what I had set up on my last button set here. Um, for the preview output, I was using select channel 
for the preview video. And then you can select which input you want to send a preview. And then on this button here for program, I did select channel for video output. And then again, selecting it there. So that's how it works. I hope that this is helpful for you guys. This should work whether it's a Mac or a PC computer gaining PTZ camera controls, PTZ camera controls for your Elgato Stream Deck so that you can have Roland camera control, Roland uh, video switcher and camera control built into one single interface. If you'd like to learn more about this, check out our blog post where I've typed out detailed instructions. Hopefully this gives you guys some cool ideas of how to control your Roland switchers and add PTZ camera controls to the simple device, the Elgato Stream Deck. Don't forget to subscribe because you won't become a video production expert overnight. And we're always giving you guys great tips and tricks on how to do this kind of stuff. Take care. Bye.